The A7 section of the CVC rubric is a very important part of content presentation. When you are aligning your course, you want to take a careful look at the tools that help students access materials. Although modules could be used to group similar items together, it is better to place items within modules in a chronological order. As you can see in this example, it helps students move from one task to the next in order to complete a section of the course by using the Next button. If I am on the last item of the pay of week one, then I click next at the bottom of the page. It will take me into the subsequent week. The syllabus is an excellent summary for the course. If left blank, it could be confusing. But if it filled with the entire text of a syllabus, it could lead to excessive scrolling. When properly chunked and with effective page links and white space, it is a great source of information for a student. In this example, you can see various sections of the syllabus grouped together in links. On this other example, you have a link that takes you to the syllabus on a separate module. A well-designed home page. It should be friendly and welcoming but also contains instructions to proceeding ahead. You can use a module first page for the learning objectives. You can change the home page to the welcoming page at the beginning of each week and or module. Here are three examples. One have various sections in tabs. This have sections in links. And this last one, my own, here I chose to have three of the most recent announcements, plus the initial page for the module week where my students are at. After viewing the tabs, They will just click on Next to start on that week's material. Finally, an aligned course will include instructions and examples within the assignment prompt instead of a separate page. Here is an example where the instructions are on the first page right when the students open a quiz. For other assignments, use embedded links instead of direct links, which would lead students to go outside the Canvas platform. They may not come back. Talking about pages, instructors can use pages instead of links to PDF or Microsoft Word documents. This would make for a more seamless course and tackle accessibility issues often difficult to resolve using such documents.